If she's not at court today, they will be. Look, you're fine. See you later, yeah? OK. Bye. So you call me from your hotel room, yeah? No, mate, I'm still here. Just saw Kane. Well, he didn't debt me, did he? So, I guess so. No. Yeah, mate, you do know how much it costs calling from a hotel phone, don't you? <laughs> do you know, I remember a time when I could leave the house in less than half an hour. <sighs> You're doing the right thing. Yeah? Well, that's not going to help Kieran hate me any less. Not at first, no, but... In the long run, it is so much better that this is out in the open. Do you want me to stick around? No. No, you two go have a good day. I need to do this alone. OK. Good luck. Right, now, keep him shut. No peeking. <laughs> what? You expect me to go through the whole morning without seeing you? Well, obviously not, seeing as you lasted a whole ten minutes in the bath. <laughs> I just got out my shower because you're too gorgeous. No, you have to keep him short until I give you a wedding present. <laughs> what? Is that it? What do you mean, is that it? Well, I was just checking, you know. I thought you might have got me, like, a new watch or an X watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leave it. No, no, it'll be thin. What you reckon? <laughs> I hate you, Finn. You're flipping charming, that is. I'm getting married! Yeah, to him. I wouldn't get too excited. That's good. Yeah. 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 So, do we think Kane's told anyone? Well, Aaron didn't think he had, so. All right, so we're keeping it intimate then, yeah? Yes. And then the world's shortest honeymoon ever for a drive to the magistrate's court. Hey, what did I say about the C word? Don't mention that until after the service, OK? Mm. Right, jog on now, you. We need to get this here sorted, yeah? Well, no, I say we. I'm not really that sort of gay, am I? What sort of gay are you? Uh, uh one who sits in that corner there and uh, drinks this champagne. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. Where am I going to get changed, though? I'm sure you'll find some bogs. <laughs> <laughs> right now, go. Love you. See you in a bit. In a bit. They've just been staying in some flea pit hotel. How do you know? It was something Finn said. I'll put it together. OK, so what are you going to do about it? What do you think I'm going to do about it? No. Why shouldn't I? Because, for starters, that they're not the only people that have had family against their relationship. Oh, no, Chrissy, me and Lawrence and is completely different. More importantly, if you stop this wedding, you'll push Victoria away forever. It's taken you long enough to stop Andy hating you. No, well, I don't care. No, Adam's going to ruin her life, and I'm, I'm putting a stop to this right now. When you're ready with that bottle, please, Debs. Oh, Pete, can't make it cool down any quicker. Can you get that, please? Well, come in. Hello. Oh, <laughs> look at you, Daddy oh. Dickhead. Give me Pete. Well, I'll warn you, look, you're still a bit sicky. Oh. Here, bought you this. Well, technically, I didn't buy it because man and Diane's from the pub, but, like, yeah. you know what I mean, I thought you might need it. Oh, yeah, thanks, I do. Bad week for Sarah's been on a school trip. Really could have done with the help. Ah, oh, well, looks like Pete's got it covered. Covered is right. He's barely been able to keep anything down, bless him. Oh, poor little love. Well, at least I've been able to get to work. Debbie's been the one juggling Jack, Squirt in the garage. Oh, well, I, for one, am glad he's getting christened tomorrow. You can't keep calling him Squirt. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. And I've got a register him today, so we need to decide. Yeah, we do. And that is why I've brought something along that might just give us some ideas. Here's a dingle. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know you're supposed to take those out, though, don't you? What? Oh, I thought it was part of the suit. I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> that would it be without you, eh? Well, you'd have been in prison earlier, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, fair point. So, you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing I want more in the world, mate. Just wish I could skip the bit later, you know? Mate, it should be fine. <sighs> Oi, stop, man. Come on. Let's take a photo for your mum. She's gonna kill me for doing this without her, isn't she? Nah, she'll understand. 
I mean, yeah. First she'll kill you, but then she'll understand. Then again, Kane's gonna kill me for lying anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Kane's already told her and she hates me that much she's staying away. Oi. Today's about you and Vic. Forget everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, you're right. Hey, I'm glad you could make it, though. Must be tough knowing that you never managed to turn me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I cry myself to sleep every night, mate. <laughs> I knew you did. Hey, don't worry, maybe your turn next. <sighs> Joking, are you? I'm much better on my own, thanks. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are we keeping you? Oh, sorry. Rakesh has got an important meeting. A lot hanging on it. He said he'd text me, let me know how it went. You two back on track, then? Looking that way, yeah. Right. In that case, how do you feel about me taking Amber to Portugal for a bit? See Daddy's new house? Well, how long's a bit? Oh, don't know, a couple of weeks? A couple of weeks? I've really missed her, Pri. And Alicia said she'd like to see her. Well, it's just two weeks is such a long time. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. It's been really difficult without her. Listen, uh, what about if you and Rakesh come to make it a holiday? Let me think about it, OK? Uh, she's taking Amber to see David. And you're okay again? And don't worry, I'm not looking for details. You know, after yesterday, I'm staying well out. Yeah, we're fine. I was stupid. Okay, yeah, you're stupid. Let's leave it at that. I'll tell you what. Why don't I get changed and I'll join you? Really? Yes, really. Is that so odd? Well, yeah, because we've not played for years. <laughs> yeah, because I got fed up with being beaten by my son. <laughs> it's a tough thing for a dad to take. Come on, it'd be good to spend some time together. And you give me a chance to dust off my Kareem Abdul-Jabbar unstoppable Skyhawk. <laughs> yeah, which I stop every time. <laughs> Look, I know why you're doing this. Now, I've been a mess lately. It's understandable. Yeah, well, you're right. Beating you will be a good distraction. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think she'll get if she's found guilty? One year, two years. Thank you. Thank you. She's 21. Does she really deserve to lose two years of her life because of a stupid mistake? I think you'll find that's how the law works. Most people in prisons are there because they made a stupid mistake. Look, are you absolutely sure you want to go today? If it's going to upset you... No, I, I want to be there. Lobster boy, I thought you were supposed to be going back yesterday. Uh, I realised I had too much to sort out with the shop. I must be doing well. Going back and forth. It wasn't that much. Hmm. So come on then, tell me. How much is Jakey loving it out yeah. there? Loads. <laughs> He's already made some friends, international language of football. And Alicia's made up too. Yeah, I bet she is. Oh, you're not still sulking about Jakey, are you? Alicia was really upset you didn't come and say goodbye. Oh, please. She's the one who didn't want me there. Uh, I don't think so. You were the one that didn't reply to her text. What text? The one she sent you saying she wanted to talk. Not, I got a smaller room. Vic said you were right the night. Wow. I reckon she deserves one. And you are gathered here this afternoon 
to witness the joining in matrimony of Victoria and Adam. If there is any person here who knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Vic, I'm not letting you do... Mum? So you do know who I am? <clears throat> what are you doing here? Yes. I'm so sorry. Look, if there was any other way... Of course there was another way. You could have told us. So you could talk us out of it? Yeah, I mean, you've hardly been supportive, have you? We thought you were running away. No, of course not. We're always going to turn up to court. You know, I'm not running away from what I did. If I go to prison, then so be it. It's just... We wanted to do this first. Exactly. You were going to get married without us. Make me miss my boy getting married. And make me miss you as a bride. You look stunning, by the way. Aye, no, you do. Come here, you. So does this mean you're not declaring any impediment, then? No. Now that we're here, no. I suppose not. So, I go on, get married. You haven't heard the end of this. That's right. You're both in a whole heap of trouble. Well, afterwards, yeah? we we'll crack on. I don't see why not. Hiya, Diane Sugden, stepmother of the bride. And no Robert. I couldn't find him. So, Kane Crack then, did he? Of course he did. He knew I'd kill him if he didn't. <laughs> well, we're all here, Kane, and you're not. So, whatever you're doing, hurry up, OK? Bye. Was it all right? Yeah, he just said he had something to do for us. Hiya. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I just... I can't see you. Oh, no, no, there you are. Hi. <laughs> so, how's the village? Oh, never mind that. What's all this about you sending me a text? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, look, I was angry with you for doing it. I mean, I'm still angry with you, but, yeah, I mean, I didn't want to go where you've been upset with me, so I texted you. I didn't get it. What? I, I said I didn't get it. Oh, right. Well, that's annoying. It explains why you didn't come say goodbye, though. Miss you. Yeah. Miss you. So, is David enjoying his extra day of quality time with Amber? Oh, God, yeah. He spent the morning in the cafe transfixed with her. Just make sure he gets on the plane this time, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, will do. So, you've not heard from Victoria, then? No. Hardly see her at all now that she's working in a pub full time. And for all she knows, they might have tapped your phone. Highly unlikely, given the fact that she's not actually on the run. No, no, not officially. No, not yet. She's not the sort of person to jeopardise yeah. her. To be fair, you wouldn't have said that she was the sort of person to hit and run a vicar either, but... Um, Victoria's caught there, if she turns up. I'm sorry, why wouldn't she turn up? Isn't she back yet? I haven't heard. Uh, she's gone AWOL. No one's sure where she is. You knew about this? I've been working for Robert, trying to find them. That's what I was doing when I took the photo. Wouldn't you tell me? Of course. I knew you felt guilty enough about it already. This isn't going to make it any better for her, is it? I'm sorry, but you know now, so there really is no point us going. If... We're going. I have to. I'm the reason all this happened. Yes. You're the victim. Of course she'll turn up. Whatever she's done, Victoria's a good person. You have both made a solemn and binding contract with each other and in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends gathered here this afternoon. It is my privilege and my pleasure to tell you that you are now husband and wife. Congratulations. You may kiss the bride. Back 
work already. Look, I've been thinking about what you said. And I'm sorry, but the thought of being away from her, it just, just makes me feel so uncomfortable. Well, how do you think I feel? Well, yes, but to be fair, that was your decision. Uh, yes, but to be fair, I am her dad and I still have rights. I know. Well then? Well, I, uh, never mind. No, 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 no. Please tell me why it's so different for you. Hmm? Well, if you must know, uh, I'd be worried about relapsing again. I lied earlier. I've been feeling a bit anxious recently. Well, are you okay? Well, I'm fine. Well, I mean, it's under control. You know, I'm seeing my therapist. Why didn't you say something? Well, I was embarrassed, wasn't I? You know, I was doing so well. You were. You are. And I've got the thought of being away from her as well. Uh, just... uh, 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 nah, you don't have to explain. I understand, OK? Maybe another time. <laughs> or, or, like I said, you could come over too. I'd like that. I really think you should retire that hook shot. Oh, yeah. It might be right. <sighs> Tea? Nah, it's all right, cos I've got some revision to do. That's the exam soon. Kieran, sit down. We need to chat. Oh, dear, that doesn't sound good at all. What have I done? <sighs> Nothing. On the contrary, I'm proud of you. You know that. Right. I... You told him? Tell me what? How do you feel about going to visit David in Portugal? Celebrate the end of your exams? Free holiday? <laughs> OK, yeah, cool. Sounds great. All right. Is there anything else? <laughs> no. Uh, she stole my good news. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, revision then. What just happened? I know we're all a bit annoyed at charity, but Ichabod. What? And you can tell Lisa there's absolutely no way we're calling him Zebedee. I don't you have an uncle, Zeb? It's quite a cool name. Yeah, it's also a spring with a moustache from Magic Roundabout. <laughs> right, OK, right, we've got Abraham. An mm, old man name. Isaac? Another old man name. Oh, the oldest one out of handsome is called Isaac. Mm. Just saying. Right. Nathaniel. Nah, too American. Oh, come on, we've got to call him something. Right, I'll have a go. Well, you've got Sodom and Gomorrah, haven't you? Ah. Uh, hmm. Moses. Moses. Moses? No, it's too... Oh, shut up, it's fine. That's what we're going with. Moses. Mo Dingle. Aww. <laughs> yeah, we'll save Isaac for our first, then, eh? <laughs> Well, at least she knows now that you're a secret handsome fan. <laughs> hey. Oh, hi. Where's Amber? Oh, my dad's got off a fight. I, uh, sorted everything out with Alicia. My phone must have been on the blink or somewhere. When's your, uh, when's your flight? Oh, uh, no, 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 in a few hours. Although I'm thinking of putting it off till tomorrow. Again? Well, between, between me and you, I think Priya's going through a bit of a rough time. She needs some help. Mm, you're homesick, aren't you? What? No. I, 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 well, yeah, but... How can you be homesick? I mean, you've barely even been there. Well, Amber, for starters. And, and Portugal's just a bit hot. Mm, clearly sunny. Yeah. <laughs> and I miss my dad. And I miss everyone else. This place is home. No. Home is with Alicia. And Jacob, I spoke to her this morning and she says she's missing you. Hmm. I miss her too. Right, good. Well, then, can you go and get your flight, please? Now. Right. I still don't understand why you suddenly changed your mind. Because <sighs> I've just done the same thing. I just lied to David that my anorexia was coming back so he couldn't take Amber. Take her? <sighs> Only for a week, but I just couldn't face it. And to be honest, I think I'd do it again. Lie for her the way you did with Kieran. God, I'm just some big hypocrite. No, you're a parent. Look, I don't.
don't want you to lose him. But I hate the thought of Vanessa being forced into bringing up a child on her own. Believe it or not, I do too. Right. Well, then we need to find a way of making this better. Oh. No, we didn't. We had an old curry in the back of the car, so we ripped it up and used that. Classic. <laughs> Where have you been? Don't. Traffic's been a nightmare. I take it, I missed it then. Well, what do you think? Probably best. You know I always cry at weddings. Look, you know, I, I, I'm going to have to follow on. What? Now you're going to have to help me get changed, because I can't stand in the dock like this, can I? All right, it's going to be all right. I won't get the van, yeah? Oh, all right, but just don't be long, OK? Adam's going to need me, so that means I'm going to need you. Right. Mm -hmm. See you in a bit. <laughs> to be fair, he did say I wanted to come to the wedding. Emmerdale's back in half an hour.